Hello everyone, welcome back to Fightage channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. United States heavyweight prospect Jeremy and Milton, who is sparring with both Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, spoke about the strength of both boxers. To me, Tyson Fury is just a damn creative guy. Milton said. He has many different answers to a variety of things. He has to fight Joshua. If we talk about Joshua, he has his athleticism and the size. In fact, he is a great fighter with excellent training and who strikes exactly where he needs to. He knows how to pick the moment to strike, that's his thing. You know, if Tyson and Anthony meet in the ring, then I don't care who says what. It's not going to be easy for Tyson Fury. Frank Warren's a promoter of the WBC, heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, say that the Gypsy King decided to fight with MMA fighter Francis Nagano, as he could not agree with famous opponents, and fights with rated boxers, and not interested in him. Why doesn't Fury fight with a rated boxer? Because he will be fighting Nagano in a huge event. In the case of these guys, there will be a voluntary defense if we could really hold it. We wanted to have a box office fight, but Andy Ruiz demanded 20 million. And we went the old way again. Anthony Joshua didn't want to fight. Instead of the opportunity to fight for the WBC title, he preferred a fight with the guy that Tyson Fury defeated last year, and we offered him 40% of the prize money. Warren said. Undefeated British heavyweight Fraser Clark has shorted his prediction for every match between his compatriots Anthony Joshua and Dylan White. Clark has no doubt that Anthony will win this fight, but also noted the fighting qualities of Dylan. Everyone needs a dance partner, and the guys are very popular in their homeland. They can sell out any arena. Their confrontation is intriguing. I think Joshua will win and do it even more confidently than the first time. Still, there are questions. I can only say one thing about Dylan. He's made of the right stuff. He's a fighter, Clark said. Former British heavyweight champion Tony Bellew believes that the rematch between his compatriots Anthony Joshua and Dylan White is the decisive match in their careers. On August 12, someone's story of a heavyweight fighter may end because I don't understand where the loser will go. The guy who fails will be thrown back years. This means that we will see the best versions of both fighters that night, because everything is at stake for them. We had some questions after their duels against Franklin, but it is in this confrontation that we will get answers. None of the fighters will take a step back, because they know what lies ahead, Belio said. Robert Garcia, the former coach of former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua, argues not to discount the Briton in a potential fight against Deontay Wilder. It's a huge fight, I've never felt Wilder's power, but I'm pretty sure he is hitting hard enough, just like Anthony. Maybe people think that Wilder has crazy power, that he is much more powerful than Anthony Joshua, and he's harder. But I don't know. I've never felt the power of Wilder, but I've felt the power of Joshua. Anthony has great power. He has incredible power. I think this is one of the fights where the one who gets their first wins. Wherever wants to win more will win. I would like to see this fight even if I didn't work with Anthony, Garcia said. Francis Ngannou told why his fight with Wilder broke down. Former UFC champion in the weight category up to 120 kilograms, Francis Ngannou, called the reason why his fight under the rules of boxing against Dante Wilder broke down. Our fight didn't take place because Wilder was offered a fight with Joshua. Deonte wants to win the status of a contender and trying to regain the title. But I think we will resume negotiations with him soon. Recently, the promoters announced the fight of Francis Ngannou against Tyson Fury on October 28 at a tournament in Saudi Arabia. For the Cameroonian, this will be his boxing debut. Wilder is currently in talks with Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua. Early Dante Wilder was the WBC heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Tyson Fury about Joshua. This covert has been running from a fight with me since 2017. Professional British heavyweight boxer Tyson Fury, the WBC world champion, criticized that his compatriot Anthony Joshua. I've been trying to find Joshua for several years. This coward has been running from a fight with me 
Science 2017. To stand up to me, you need to be very brave. But Joshua is uh, just a jerk. Joshua was previously the heavyweight champion of the world in four versions. In his last fight, AJ defeated Jermaine Franklin by a referee decision. Anthony's next fight is scheduled to take place on August 12 against former WBC title contender Dylan White. Tyson Fury is still looking for a new opponent. Former heavyweight title contender Dylan White is confident that he will not get a good response from fans. If he wins over compatriot Anthony Joshua, the confrontation between AJ and White will take place on August 12 in London. United Kingdom. Recall that Joshua and White boxed for the first time in December 2015. Their fight ended in Anthony's favor, with a technical knockout in the seventh round. Even if I beat Joshua, I still want to get the respect I deserve. If I beat him, people will say he is on the decline. They will say what he was like. In any case, some nonsense will be said. 33-year-old Joshua had his last fight against Jermaine Franklin in April this year. In this confrontation, Anthony won by a unanimous decision. He has 25 wins, 22 by an account and 3 defeats. The 35-year-old White last entered the ring against the same Franklin in November 2022. This fight lasted the entire distance and ended in favor of Dylan by a majority decision of the judges. He has 28 wins. 90 by knockout and 3 defeats. Taking into account all bonuses, Francis Ngannou can get about $30 million for the fight against Fury. As for the fee of the Briton, it would be 3 or 4 times more. Their fight is of an exhibition nature, which means that the WBC title, which Tyson owns, will not be at stake. However, the rules of the meeting itself include the usual classic boxing rules. 12 rounds, knockdowns and knockouts are allowed. However, the format of the fights interests Nagano last of all. The main goal of a Cameroonian is to earn a lot of money, and for this he can hardly be criticized. As a fighter, Francis achieved the ultimate goal and become a champion in the strongest promotion on the plane at UFC. Do not forget that he is already 36 year old, and at this age, many people leave professional sports. In the UFC, for several years of his career, Nagano earned a little more than $3 million. According to a new offer from Dana White, Francis could get 5-6 million in about a couple of years, but it's still not comparable to the fee for one fight against Tyson Fury. Everyone understands who will be the winner. On the territory of Fury, it's the Briton who is the favorite. He has not had a single defeat in his professional career, and it is unlikely that the debutant Ngano will stop him. The Cameroonian, having signed the contract for this fight, risks not losing outright, but being knocked out for the first time in his career. But for $30 million, Francis is ready to experience what Miocic Blaze E. Awirem, another UFC heavyweight. He defeated experience it. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.